Hello, I'm Dave Doyle, and welcome to GeoLearn NGS Datasheet Tips. Uh, we're going to spend a few minutes walking through the various styles of the NGS Datasheet to kind of give you a better idea of the various data elements that are already part of the NGS data sheet that in many cases users have never had to have um, much, much connection with NGS on. So I'd like to walk you through that. So here's the, what we're going to do. First of all, make sure you know how to go get the NGS data sheets. That's just geodesy at noaa.gov. That's going to take you to the NGS website. And in just a moment, we're going to show you how to walk through the, uh, the data sheet process. We're going to show you how to access the, the NGS data sheets. We're going to review their format. We're going to look at the various data elements that are part of it. We're going to look at the current control information because that's what most surveyors are concerned with. What is the latest and greatest control? We're going to talk about the metadata. NGS goes to great lengths to provide sufficient metadata so that you can have confidence uh, or know what each of the data elements mean. Uh, I'll show you where you find the plane coordinate information and we'll walk through that a little bit. I'll also talk about superseded coordinate information. Quite a number of the marks in the NGS database have older values, whether they're horizontal values on, let's say, something like the NAD27, or maybe it's a, a height value on NGVD29. I'm going to show you how to, how to go find those. We'll talk a little bit about descriptions and recoveries. And then we'll talk about this tool, DS World, which is a tremendous little tool that you can use to update some of this information, better recoveries, add digital images, uh, along with adding improved coordinate information for benchmarks that currently only have a scaled value. So at this point, I'm going to turn part of this over to my loyal minion and, and helper here, Joe Piva. Joe's going to bring up the NGS um, website. And there's a number of ways, there's actually several ways you can access geodetic control directly from the website. If you come over here to the left hand side, you'll see Survey Mark Data Sheets. Um, you just click on that and it will take you to the data sheet page. Or if we back up, we walk over here looking for benchmarks. Of course, benchmarks here is being used as a generic term for all geodetic control. So there's a number of ways you can do it. If you go over here to Surveys, you can find active control, calibration baselines, uh, survey mark data sheets. So there's like three places that you can actually access the geodetic control data sheets. In this case, we're just going to use this one over here. They all take you to the same place. And now I, if, you, uh, if you want more information about a lot of the data elements that are on there, there's, there's some nice uh, work up here. If you go to um, data sheets that are here, D, uh, data sheet, It'll talk to you about a typical data sheet with the information that's on there. At least I hope it will. There we go. But it's not the only kind. There's many different kinds of data sheets. And we're going to walk you through some of that information right now. So there's a number of ways of accessing data sheets. I'm going to just highlight them. I click on data sheets. Now you see here, there's, these are the various ways in which you can access the geodetic control, horizontal, vertical, um, GPS derived. There's a whole range of ways in which you can do it. 